Hello everyone. Today I would like to share about making inferences on reading text. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Tiki Iziani Binti Mista. Welcome to my channel. Inference. Inference is the process. Inference is a mental process by which we reach a conclusion based on specific evidence. Inference are the stock and trait of detectives examining clues, of doctors diagnosing diseases, and of car mechanics repairing engine problems. We normally infer motives, purpose, and intentions in many situations. You are actually making inference or draw conclusions on a regular basis in your daily lives too. You might not realize how frequently you make inferences when you read. When you make inferences, you make an educated guess about something which is not directly stated. Inference is essential to and part of being human. We engage in inference every day. We interpret actions to be examples of behavior characteristics, intents, or expressions of particular feelings. For instance, we infer people are thirsty if they ask for a glass of water. And we also infer it is raining when we see someone with an open umbrella. Making inferences. Let's take a look at this picture. What can you infer from this picture? In making inference, you are actually asked so many questions in order to get understanding. So what information is given? It is a businessman, has many luxury cars and several houses. He has many businesses throughout the world. He makes donations to many charitable organizations. So what do I already know? A successful people is actually wealthy and they can buy anything they like with their money. They can also afford to help other people. As for conclusion, what can I infer from this picture? A businessman is a very successful, wealthy, and generous. This is how you make inference when looking at this photo. Making inferences. The kind of questions you ask will depend on what you need to know. Below are some questions that you can ask to help you make inferences. For instance, why would someone feel this way? Why would someone act in certain way? What is likely to happen? Why does the author include these informations? Alright, let's do practice. Let us take a look at situation 1. Every day after work, Paul took his muddy boots off on the steps of the front porch. At least we have a fit it the boots made it so far as the welcome mat. He then took off his dusty overalls and then threw them into a plastic garbage bag. Elise left a new garbage bag tied to the porch railing for him every morning. On his way in the house, he dropped the garbage bag off at the washing machine and went straight up the stairs to the shower as he was instructed. He would eat dinner with her after he was presentable, as Elise had often said. From this situation, you can actually make a few inference where you can guess who are the characters, what is actually happening, and what kind of characteristic that the character shows. Let's take a look at the questions and answers. From the situation given, what type of job does Paul work? So we can infer that Paul works with some kind of job that requires him to get dirty. For instance, it can be a ditch digger, or a miner, a laborer, and many others. How do you know this? It is where you get the idea by Paul's clothes are muddy every day. Question number two. Describe a list. From the situation given just now, you can infer that Alice is a very clean person with a good deal of control over the household. Thus, what in the text supports your description? This is where she requires Paul to follow a cleaning procedure as she inspects him. 
Question number three. What relationship do Paul and Alice have? And why do you feel this way? You can infer that they may be a husband and wife or a mother and son. This is because Alice is taking care of the household that usually done by a wife or a mother. Let's take a look at situation two. Crack! Thunder struck and rain poured. Max stared blankly out the window, trying to contain his emotions that rag like the weather. He was beginning to lose it, dropping the kite from his hand. Max broke out into full sob. His mother comforted him. There, there, Max. We'll just find something else to do. She began to unpack the picnic basket that was on the counter and offered him a sandwich. Max snapped. I don't want a sandwich. A flash from the sky lit up the living room. Boom! Mom sighed. Okay, let us look at the questions and answers. Why is Max upset? From the situation, you can infer that Max is upset due to raining and he cannot go outside to play. How do you know this? This is where he drops his kite and begins crying. Question number two. What was mom planning on doing today? So you can infer that she was going to take Max on a picnic. So what is in the text supports your description? It is where she unpacks a picnic basket. Let's take a look at situation 3. Tommy! Mom called out as she walked in the front door. Tommy! She continued shouting. I sure could use some help with these groceries. There was still no reply. Mom walked into the kitchen to put the grocery bags down on the counter when she noticed shattered glass from the picture window all over the living room floor and a baseball not far from there. I'm going to kill you, Tommy! Mom yelled to herself as she realized that Tommy's shoes were gone. Here are the questions and answers. What has actually happened to the window? So from the situation, you can infer that Tommy actually broke the window by playing baseball. How do you know this? This is where Tommy ran away and the baseball is evidence. Question number two. Why did Tommy leave? So you can infer that Tommy is actually fierce of his mother. What in the text supports your description? Tommy's mother issues a hyperbolic death threat. So this is the last situation for you to have a look. Today was a special day in Miss Smith's class. Some of the children were walking around the room, some of them were standing in small groups, and some of them were at their desk putting finishing touches on cardboard mailboxes. After colouring a cool flame on the side of his race car mailbox, Johnny hopped out of his chair, strutted over the Veronica's desk, and dropped a small white envelope into her princess castle mailbox. Veronica blushed and played with her hair. While this was happening, Bobby was frantically trying to put a small white envelope into everyone's mailbox. After giving one to Miss Smith, Bobby pulled out a medium-sized red envelope from his pocket. He blushed and tried to put it in Veronica's mailbox. But it wouldn't quite fit. Bobby struggled with it for a few seconds and then ran off with the envelope. Veronica rolled her eyes and popped her gum. Here are the questions and answers. From the situations, what makes you think that today is a special day? So from the situation, you can guess that today is a Valentine's Day and the children are allowed to distribute cards. So what in the text does support your idea? This is where the children are out of their seats, passing out envelopes and eating candy. Question number two. Which boy does Veronica like? And what in the text supports your idea? From the situation, you can infer that actually Veronica likes Johnny. It is because she gets blushes and plays with her hair when Johnny gives her a card. Question number three. Why did Bobby run? This is because Bobby likes Veronica. She makes him very nervous and or things that were not going well. So what in the text supports your idea? 
He creates a special card just for her and he blushes as he approaches her or that the card doesn't fit in. I think those situations that we discussed just now can help you to understand better about inferences. I think that's all. Thank you. And always remember that inferential thinking is a complex skill that will develop over time and with experience.